course, is this, of course, is the great dilemma. Parents define the world for their children. And if they begin to use corporal punishment early, um, they create the reali reality that this is acceptable. It, it's more than that. Corporal punishment and harsh corporal punishment um, consistently used against children produces a dogmatic personality. So a dogmatic personality is someone who believes what they want to believe and, and closes off all rationale or outside evidence. They don't want to hear from the outside. They don't want to hear what the evidence is. They don't want to hear any logic. This is right. Um, if you want any evidence of that at all, stay home one day and listen to the people who call Dr. Laura or people who call G. Gordon Liddy or people who call Ollie North. And there's a whole lot of dog dogmatic people at home who simply don't want to listen to any logic. They believe what they're going to believe. And, and that arises out of, that arises out of experiencing corporal punishment. So the more dogmatic supporters of corporal punishment, the folks who, who find the section of the Bible that supposedly says uh, um, one must bend the will of the child, uh, are the least amenable to logic and reason. Uh, and, and that's why we have such an uphill battle to create a cultural ethic that says, you know, kids are, are human beings, kids can be harmed by this. You can't have a debate on this issue with the fundamentalists because the matter is closed before the debate begins.